Hey guys, JD here. So we got a nice trade on our hands. We're up 1400. So I'm gonna lock in right under this swing here, which will be 5640. 5640, lock in right under this swing. We got in at 29, so it's about 11 points locked in. All right. Yep, 11 points locked in, so no matter what, another thousand dollar day trade, but we got potential here. If we can survive this, uh, let's see. 40, 40, 45, I mean, we was up another five points. I mean, we've been up as high as 1800. So definitely should lock in here. Look, this was a nice pull back here. Hopefully, if we just push back up, we can stay above here and have a big win here. We'll see. Uh, so far, so good though. Nice run. We made it back above the EMA, so I'm feeling good about this that we might have to survive. So I'm gonna set a new target here. See, we got a leg here. Hopefully this is the bottom here. That's gonna put our target, bam, right there, all right. This is our new target, 52.25. We will see if we make it there. All right, we are getting the movement we wanna see, up 1500 now. Man, if we can, if we break higher than this level right here, which is 46, we're at 44. Man, we get to 47, we are in the clear. All right, so we, <laughs> Trying to hang on by a string here. I mean, wow, I'm actually shocked we're still alive. I mean, if we survive, if we survive this, then I, I probably won't survive this. <laughs> we'll see. All right, we are in a fight. We just survived again. <laughs> wow, so it must be a little buy pressure here. I mean, if we can push back up to the EMA, we'll probably survive, but it's, it's a, it's a, we're in a fight. I mean, it's, it's doing absolutely nothing right now. It's thawed out, so Let's see. No, there we go, there we go, there we go. If we can push back up, if we can push back up to the EMA, we will survive. I think we may make it. We may make this one. We back up to the EMA and we push through the EMA. <laughs> I don't know if I said we get back to it, but if we push through it, we're gonna mess around and survive. This is the candle here. It's kind of bouncing at the EMA. Unfortunately, this could easily be a trend down, trend break, retest, new low, possibly. I don't know, hopefully not. Or rather it be a trend up, trend break, retest the new high. That would be nice. This is the candle. If this candle can, man, if this candle leaves some stem, hammers up through this MA, that is what we want to see right here. It's going so slow. All right, we got a fighting shot here. This candle is trying to push through that MA. Let's see if we make it. Man, it got above briefly. Now we are in trouble again. Ah, it's gonna be close, it's gonna be close. We need a real push up. Okay, we saw a little spurt there. Ah, we needed to maintain and close. We need this to kind of the close on this top. Thank you, close on your top. Give us a shot. It can close on this top. If this can get, if this, if this candle just, oh, so we're in a fight. We are in a fight some sell pressure coming into the market. It's not what I want to see. Oh, it might be over. Good trade. Look at that, we are in a fight, people. We are in a fight. Two ticks away from being knocked out. 
shut up gave us some hope turned to a fallen hammer that is very unfortunate new candle we need something to shoot up for us stop filled there we go hey good trade another thousand dollar day i'll take it <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? JD here. So this month we're going to keep going with our futures introduction. And so today we're just going to cover some basics of the futures trading market. All right. So let's jump right in. All right. So one thing I love about the futures market is that the numbers are easy. All right. If you've ever had a problem trying to figure out how much a pip was worth in the Forex market, let me put your mind at rest. The math is much easier easier in the futures market okay so the futures market is and, and and let me disclaimer not disclaimer but everything i talk about today in the futures market i'm going to be discussing the futures es that's the s p 500 index they call it the es maybe they call it the es mini okay so everything i'm going to discuss is built is based on that so whatever asset you're trading in the futures market could be slightly different but the fundamentals are still the same but the prices the numbers could be slightly different but today we're going to be talking about the es because that's what i focus on that's what i trade all right so the future market is based on contracts all right so what you're doing is you're actually purchasing contracts when you enter into a futures agreement all right and so either you are buying a futures contract or you're selling a futures contract all right and so that's how the buy and sell situation works in futures you can you can you can uh, hope the market is going to go up you can hope the market is going to go down so if you're buying what you're saying is you believe the price of the s p 500 is going to go up all right if you're selling a futures contract you're saying that you believe that the price of the s p 500 index is going to go down all right so the beauty of the futures market is that you can buy as many contracts as you want well let me take that back you can buy as many contracts as your account size will let you buy. I think it's some, it depends, it depends on the broker. I believe with Ninja Trader, who's the broker I use, I wanna say it's $500 per contract. You have to have at least $500 of margin, or you gotta have $500 in your trading account to be able to trade one ES contract. I believe that is, don't quote me on that. It's gonna be different per broker. But that's how it works right so the bigger account size you have the more contracts you can trade all right so that's it's, you're buying and selling a contract that's what's happening right now how do we make money how does the money work well the money works like this in the futures market well, the es um prices move by ticks okay so every tick every one little tick is worth twelve dollars and fifty cents all right and the way it works is it moves in like it'd be zero let's start at zero then it goes 0.25 that's one tick 0.50 that's two tick 0.75 that's three pit ticks and then when you get to four ticks you're actually at one point all right so one point is four ticks and the es and every tick remember it's worth twelve dollars and fifty cents so Every time that the ES or the S&P 500 index moves up, let's say you bought, every time it moves up one point, you would make $50, all right? Simple, easy, that's how the math works out, right? So again, you buy one contract, right? And each tick is worth $12.50, right? So you get four of them boys, you get four ticks in your favor, one point, you made $50, right? If it moved in your favor that's how it works that's how the math works so i love the math <laughs> in futures because it's easy right i, I know exactly how much I'm, I'm gonna make right now here's the other caveat to that not caveat but here's the other piece of that each contract now this is with ninja trader and again it's gonna be different with every broker each contract that you purchase um each round turn is five dollars so what that means is when you bought the contract and entered when you sold to get out that's a round turn right they charge you five bucks so let's say you 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 entered the contract you only went for one point right and you won you got the one point well you didn't make fifty dollars you actually made forty five dollars you got to pay that commission so there are com there's commission 
in the futures market. And and with with my broker, Ninja Trader, is five dollars five dollars excuse me per round term. All right, and this this really makes a difference when you decide how you're going to approach trading futures. All right, so many people. I know I know some people who make a living scalping the futures market. The way they're able to do this is because it's really not that hard to get one point if you understand price action, if you understand price action setups, getting one point is not really that hard. But overall it's still riskier and the commissions don't work out. And I'm gonna show you that in a second when you compare it to swing trading, okay, which is what I typically like to do i like to scalp too i have to admit but i do much better at swing trading because the, the numbers work out much better and i'm gonna show you why so going back to those people who i know are making a living scalping here's the deal they're making a living scalping but they're winning at about 90 percent <laughs> that's the catch to scalp the futures market in my opinion from people that i know who who have done it successfully they're winning at 90 percent 85 probably probably around 85 at the low okay the reason they're able to achieve those high numbers is again, it's actually not that hard to scout one point when you know what you're doing, but you have to know price action setups. You have to know um, good signal candles, entry candles, and above all, you have to have elite discipline and patience. Okay. The people that I'm talking about are elite traders. All right. I'm not talking about people who just started trading last month. I'm talking about people who've been trading 20 years. Okay. They're able, they have, they have gained the skill, the knowledge, the discipline. All right. To wait for that opportunity. And here's the thing. The market is going to give you on any given day, man, I admit the market is going to easily give you 10 opportunities to scalp to make one point easily at least at least about 10 right that doesn't mean that you have the patience and discipline to wait for those 10 okay and maybe you do i'm just i'm just i'm just telling you what i know right the people who i know doing it they've been doing it a long time they're experts they're very disciplined you know and my hat goes off to them okay i can halfway do it but halfway don't cut it because here's the situation let's say because the people who i know do it they risk two points right going for one here's the problem obviously you probably see it already if you're risking you're risking 100 bucks right let's just say you do one contract you're risking 100 bucks to make 50 you gotta win at a 90 percent clip <laughs> for that math to work out okay but the people who i know do it they actually have what's called a runner going so what they do is they scalp out one point and then they let this runner go to try to get more that really helps because that gives you the home runs that you will need to stay alive. But again, I know people who are doing 20 contracts. All right. They're risking 20. They're, they're, they're trading 20 contracts. They're going for one point where they'll scalp out 15 of them. Right. So that math works out to $750. I mean, Hey, that is awesome when you can make $750 in seconds because if you don't know the futures market goes real quick it could go one point and uh you blink it went one point okay so you t you can make 750 dollars just like that blink your eyes boom you made it right and then if that runner goes if they get any distance on that runner great here's the problem let's look at the other side of that coin though if they lose you lost two thousand dollars <laughs> all right you lost two thousand dollars Here's the other problem. You only get a runner like maybe 30% of the time, right? So if you're good enough, if you're good enough, you can make a living scalper. That's what, if you're good enough. If you're not good enough, you know, losing 2,000 bucks in one pop, that that hurts, okay? And and if you're trying to do a funded account, or you're working with um, a, fir a funding firm, they're not gonna let you lose $2,000 <laughs> in one pop, I mean, I mean, you can't have an account large enough where you lose maybe 2200 a day or 3000 a day. But again, you that's your whole day gone. If you lose the first trade, pack it up, go do something else, right? So that's a tough way. That's a tough way to go about it. So what's better? And I'm not just saying it's better because I know people who make a living doing that. Okay. And I'm not trying to shoot scalping down. I'm showing you a comparison. In my opinion, it ain't even, it ain't even an opinion. It's a comparison. 
All right, let's uh, and let's just stick to. Well, I already got an example. So, okay, here's the other thing about that. Before I, before I leave, I'm kind of getting off track. Here's here's the other thing about that. Let's if you did 20 contracts at at five bucks, right around turn. Um, that's a hundred dollars in commission. So now, so let's say you lost. Not only did you lose two thousand, then you lost another hundred in commission. <laughs> All right. So the more contracts you trade, the more commission you have to pay. Now, in comparison, since we have an edge in the market, which is our knowledge of the market cycle. Okay. Since we know, since we know how to trade the market cycle, let's say we instead risked two points, right? And we went with two contracts, just just two contracts, and we did we risked two points, so we're risking what two hundred dollars, right? But let's say we always went for at least ten, and the key at least ten, because I, I go with whatever the leg is giving me. You know, what I'm saying when I have a target, when I have a leg target, if the leg is thirty points, I'm going for thirty points. If the leg is twenty points, I'm going for twenty points, right? There, therefore, I can get the home runs I need to stay alive in this game. But let's say you're swing trading, and you're going for you're risking two points. You're only you're only doing two contracts, right? So when you lose, you lose two hundred dollars. But when you win, you win a thousand plus. See the difference in that? And not only that, what did you pay in commission? Ten dollars, <laughs> because you only did two contracts, right? So what I'm saying is this. In the futures market, when it comes to scalping versus swing trading, there are some advantages for definitely newer traders. There are some advantages for traders who understand the market cycle. And there are some advantages to just putting the math in your favor to, and I'm not even saying go for a one to two, I'm saying go for a three X, a four X, a five X, a six X, right? Because you need home runs to stay alive, all right? And if you if you only risking two points, if your if your losers if your losers are only two points, but your winners are ten points plus, you won't, you you probably can win at thirty percent, <laughs> okay, and still make money. You don't have to win at ninety percent. You don't have to win at eighty percent. If you were winning at seventy percent, and the and you put the numbers in your favor. You'd be making a killing. You understand me? A, a killing. All right. Thousand dollar days would be nothing. And because we understand the market cycle, right? I don't have to take a whole bunch of trades. I don't have to take four or five trades a day. No, I could take one or two. Okay. And consistently have thousand dollar days like you saw in the intro. So put the numbers in your favor. I like scalping. I do. Lord knows I do. But boy, do I love swing trading because swing trading puts the numbers in my favor. You know, I can lose two, three in a row and one win. One win, I'm not not only brought me back, but I made money. OK, so when it comes when it comes to futures market, just some basics again. Hey, we're trading contracts. Each tick is worth twelve dollars and fifty cents. Each point is worth fifty dollars. Put the numbers in your favor, in my opinion, by swing trading. Only risk a few points, but go for four x, five x, six x. I mean, you get you get two. Let's just say you doing that two to two and ten, right? You risk two, you go for ten. If you get two wins in a row, <laughs> you're twenty points up, and then you're only going to be risking two. You see how you can build on that? Even if you used to lose three in a row and then win the fourth one. You, you just, you see how that account would be? Put the numbers in your favor. The thing I love about futures is you can put the numbers in your favor, all right? So in my opinion, learn how to swing trade, learn the market cycle, put a fib on there, take Fibonacci entries, catch that second leg, do a two to 10, and see if you gonna win. You gonna win a lot more and grow accounts and pass funded challenges. <laughs> A lot easier swing trading over scalping in the futures market. All right. So that's my spiel for the day. I am going to do a work study lesson for you today so you can see the market cycle again and see the benefit one more time of trading with trend and putting the numbers in your favor. All right. So let's 
let's go over to that uh that that work study lesson if you want to learn price action trading you can visit www.jdhider.com where you will find the iots price action trading system which is the course that you need to begin to increase on the sudden Hey guys, JD here. Okay, so we're gonna jump into the work study lesson. And today's price action was actually pretty easy to read. Um, this is the open here. Now this isn't when I say open, I'm talking about when the market actually opens up at 6 p.m. at nighttime, not the 9:30 open, which happens right in here. But through the night session, you can just see. Look at this trend down. Let me grab a line. I'll just say right through here, that's a trend down. Trend break, then what do you get? Retest to new low. This was the low. Let's put a line here. This was the low. Okay. Got the trend break, retest to a new low. Now we get a new low. Perfect price action. Perfect price action. Perfect rule of two. Pretty perfect market cycle also. Trend down, trend break, retest new low, right? So then we get this bottom. We try to push up, can't make it. Now, and here's when the market opens at 930, right here. So then when we come down, look what happens. We bounce right here, double bottom, double bottom. And this big, strong push up here, this candle here was a big clue that this thing wasn't gonna go any lower because it already made the matching bottom, strong push up. Hey, we're going higher. So you really could, just for an entry standpoint, you could go right here on this low, higher low. That would have got you a one-point scalp. And that's all that was there. But the better entry came right after it. You got another low, push up, higher low. Beautiful signal candle here. That's a pretty good entry right there for another higher low entry. Bam, go right there. Now that one, that one, that one you caught one. You was off to the races, right? And from there, Man, there's plenty of entries through here. I'm not going to cover them all, to be honest with you. Because <laughs> I actually want to show the market cycle again. But there was plenty of second entries, higher lows, all through this nice run up. But let's say you missed that run up. And the way I like to really trade is to look for the bigger picture. Okay. So we had this attempt lower. And now we're, now we're trending up. So what I'm looking for is a trend up trend break retest new high going long so once this trend is happening i'm waiting for this to start pulling back once i get really this candle right here this candle this candle or this one but really this one where we really break lower i'm throwing a fib on okay i'm throwing a fib on this is what i want to show you here so from this bottom here at the time this would be the top right here okay so what I'm looking for is the 50% 618 zone so let me grab me a box and find that area that is just the normal trend area 50% 618 zone it's right here and it just happens to go hand in hand with what I teach with the market cycle so price action and Fibonacci coming together here boom so you get this nice push up, but you miss it, right? Or maybe you did, or if you went here, you caught it. But let's say you didn't see that. And you didn't take any of the other, there's there's probably, man, there's, there's at least five, six entries in here, right? But you wait for the pullback. Man, if you go right here, bam. Say you go right here, you risk one, two points. You right here, you're in the clear. Do you get the 10? Let's count it up. We would have entered at 28.75. We need 38.75. 38.75 is right here. You get it. You risk two points. You get 10 right there. All right. All right. Let's say you missed this one. But look, it gave you another shot. Also want to show you how price action works in both directions. Look at this real quick. I just spotted this. Again, trend down, trend break, retest the new low. So this little push is over. 
you could expect us to be going higher. Not only that, you hit the sweet spot again. And then when you hit the sweet spot, look at this beautiful signal candle that's about to head right back out again. Let's, so let's do it again. You drop right here, right? Let's say you enter right here at 30.75. Only risk two points, and I and I and I'm. I, you can risk whatever you want. Let's just. I'm just sticking to the example I gave earlier today. Let's just say you risk two points, so you're at twenty eight seventy five. You survive again. It was close. It scared you. You survive again. You risk two points, though. Do you get the ten? You would have entered at thirty seventy five. We need to see forty seventy five. Forty seventy five is right here all right so just on these two trades all right when we're talking about scalping compared to swing trading now of course i could just dig two examples out of thin air if you want to look at it that way but here you get you get the one point scalp you don't get the runner because it comes back and knocks you out right here here you actually get the scout the one point scalp and the runner right but Look how much you risked, right? We we discussed this earlier. You know, risking two grand here. Hey, I risked two hundred here. Okay, and we didn't. And I and I made a thousand. I would have made a thousand here. I would have made a thousand here. I'd have made two thousand compared to like on this one. You'd have made seven fifty and got knocked out. So you made seven fifty. I made a thousand. Now here on that runner, you would have clean house. You would have made seven fifty and clean house. So this one, this is the one you need. This is how you scalp and and actually make money. You know, when you catch a run like this, this one would have paid. This one, this one would have paid real good if you just stayed behind. But also, if you stayed behind too, I would have gotten my last lock in. Probably would have been say here and then here. Yep, I'ma say I would have gotten forty two fifty. I would have got forty forty two fifty. I would have got twelve and a half. So I would have made I would have made I would have made twelve hundred fifty on that run. So I would have made a little more than the you know, that's a wait, what what is that? A ten X? Twelve X? Eleven X? I'm not sure. Math ain't good, but you know what I'm saying. I would have risked two hundred, made twelve fifty. That's the kind of ratios you wanna put in your favor. Right, and understanding the market cycle, trend up, trend break, retest new high helps you here again. Let's see it. If you can't see it, this is a trend up, clear trend up, right? This is a clear trend break, okay? Then we get a, and it's, it's you know, it's, it was hard to do, but you get the retest to it didn't make the new high and that happens sometimes but you still would have made you still had two shots to make 10 points on either trade either entry you take this entry you make 10 points you take this entry you make 12 points so that was it after that the market just we ran up we didn't make the new high and we are now currently uh, let me mark this up for later for myself in a range now the market is in a range we're in a little tight 40 we're in a, a nine point range so we'll see what happens you know and that's that's it that's how i look at the day so now hey when we if we break out the top i'm gonna go long if we break out the bottom i'm gonna go short that's how i'm gonna plan the that's how i'm plan the next move and i just follow the market like this i just follow the market like this but you know it's a good chance that i wouldn't be shocked if we broke higher because here's why this run up was nice if you measure the leg i tell you, I think this one might have went lower if you measure the leg we still got a little leg here to go we still got about man 48 64 yeah we still got about 20 of them we still got about 20 points this thing really could go just off of this leg so i i actually would expect this to maybe break out the bottom and fail come back in i probably would buy right here expecting to ride it up to here that's another thing i love about futures <laughs> and also this is the advantage of only trading one pair 
you can just stick with it. You know exactly what's going on, and you can plan your trades ahead of time. So, I, I mean, I already got a plan for tonight. When the market opens at 6 p.m. tonight, I got a plan for that. If it comes down here, I see a breakout that fails, and it come back in this range, I'm going with it. I'm going to try to ride it to the top at least, hoping that it breaks out to finish this leg right here. And that is the power of understanding the market cycle. You can plan trades ahead. You can see opportunities coming, and you can um, use that as an edge and take great price action entries. This is nothing but a second entry long. Look from here. Push down. First entry. Push down. Second entry long. Coming out of the sweet spot. Beautiful signal candle. Close up. That's a, that is a perfect trade right there. And man, cool 12 points. Cool 12 points. But that's going to wrap it up for today. I hope you guys learned something on this one. Hey, when it comes to scalping or swing trading in a futures market, I'm going to lean towards swing trading. You, It can be done scalping if you can win at a high enough percentage but i'm going to do swing trading it's a little bit simpler the ratios are more in my favor and those home runs can not only help me grow accounts but keep accounts <laughs> and can and stay profitable all right so this is a great time to like share and subscribe i hopefully i hope I greatly hope you enjoy this one all right i'm gonna catch you on the next one my name is jd and as always i wish you Increase on the Sutton. Bye-bye. Keep the learning going. Check this video out right here.